Most of the time when we eat food, it doesn't cost us a thought. However, on occasion, we hear of outbreaks, uh, foodborne illnesses that are associated with the consumption of food, and then suddenly the whole of the media attention focuses on the food chain. In a, in a herd scenario, it's very difficult to try to go in and treat one animal. It might be difficult to go in and treat 10 animals, but when you get to hundreds of animals, it then becomes impossible. And so really what you have to do to try to manage disease to some extent is you medicate. So you give small amounts, for example, of antibiotic drugs through, for example, the water supply or the feed supply. And in that way, you try to ensure that the animals will remain healthy through their production cycle. People are beginning to get concerned about what we call therapeutic failure. That is where you give an antibiotic to treat an infection and suddenly you realize the antibiotic doesn't work anymore. And the question you ask is why? Why is it that that situation has arisen? It probably has arisen for the very reasons that I've said in that you know, we have probably misused or abused those valuable uh, drugs such that we now have a situation that's emerging which is becoming more difficult to deal with. And the example in the clinical scenario is MRSA, a typical example which is now becoming very problematic for hospitals. We started studying this a number of years ago looking at different bacteria and I suppose really we didn't realise at the time how significant this problem was in respect of food and just food alone. We started in a clinical situation looking at the hospital environment but we switched then ultimately to looking at the food environment and when we switched we found that this was, a, this was an issue which was both exciting to study, uh, interesting in terms of trying to predict what was going to happen next and then uh, also interesting because you were trying to give some useful advice back to those who were trying to regulate the problem. We have nutritionists, we work with people who look at risk, risk assessments in relation to the food chain. We have people who look at obesity, you have us who look at food safety and others. Public health would be another one and indeed what we call veterinary public health. So all of these people essentially reflect the food chain as a continuum from the food producing animal on the plants at one end to the consumer, us, at the other end. And so everything in between uh, is, is part of that food chain. And that's what we study here. So I think it is exciting being at UCD to work in such a, a dynamic institution. It creates a unique opportunities for us. And in fact, it, it's, a, it's a sort of a, an existence which is not replicated anywhere else in the country. I think we have to educate everyone, uh, both uh, professionals and indeed the public alike, as to the value of antibiotics. If you like, we really have seen no new antibiotics coming onto the market since the 1970s. So in effect, every drug we have right now is essentially, has essentially been available from sometime back in the 40s, 50s and 60s. It's not likely that we're going to see anything new in the, in the near future. So therefore, we have to make sure that we preserve the value and the efficacy of those uh, drugs that we have. And so we really need to understand this and educate people to try to understand this issue so that um, people will be less demanding of the use of an antibiotic and should really therefore only use it when it's really, really necessary.